Hey guys, how you doing? And welcome to another deck profile. Today we're going to be looking at one of my special creations, the Trump Wall of Numbers. So I'm going to load the replay. It's not an exciting game per se, but it does show off what this deck can do. So I'm going to make sure this loads. There we go. Okay. So I start off with a pretty pretty hand. And, you know, I basically am just trying to stall out the game until we can start getting the combo off. So this deck runs all one stars. There is no other minion in this deck that has a level above one. So we use the Marsh Macarons to defend, Mystic Pipers to draw. King of Boyo has the added effect of letting me get two one stars out. And the Jester Convert is the two one stars in one turn. And, you know, I can either want to, I can use King of Boyo like I do here to draw Mystic Piper out of the graveyard onto the field and then use his effect to draw more cards. So they work really well together. We got a defense draw in there, some ghost tricks to just keep the defense going constantly. I'm going to make sure this guy does not end my life before we can get the combo off. And like I would say this, the reason I'm showing this replay is it was probably the slowest game we had. Like this deck could easy pop off like turn one, turn two. This one I had to draw so much, but because we had the draw and we had the stall, we got there. All we're looking for is literally the Imperial Iron Wall and maybe a Numbers Wall, but that doesn't always need to be in the hand. So boom, we draw the Imperial Iron Wall, time to pop off. I get Kingy Boyo into Mystic Piper again, draw some more cards, go into Raikeki, wipe the board, play number 78, pop down the trap, can't be activated until next turn, so we, we always chain it onto his uh, draw. And then boom, we get the seven sins. Because the Imperial Iron Wall is up, number 78's effect does not activate, so it doesn't get banished on the end phase. So we get to keep this uh, lovely seven sins, you know, chilling. So we then do it again, and we pop off into our hard Corrupted Dragon, so we can just, you know, heal our life points up, and it can't be destroyed by battle, and it can't be banished. Then we pop down the one day apiece just to make sure we, you know, it doesn't just deal a shitload of damage through our heart dragon. Because I know he was running a dragon deck. So anyway, the bat shit's gonna go down. We draw the second wall. We have trump mode. We go into pain gainer, wipe his board completely, minions, back row. And then we use Xyz Reborn to get the, the dragon back, and then we end his life. Boom. Perfect win condition right there. So that was a little bit of the deck. Uh, I really enjoy it. I think the deck is extremely fun. So I'm going to show you the deck list right here. Obviously not this one. We need to actually get the, the deck open. You may have seen it in my previous video. But this is what the deck looked like. We got like draw card, board wipe, draw card and stall, draw card, but because we run Imperial Line Wall, this can only be used before the trap is set. If the trap is set, you do not need to draw cards. This is why this card in the deck is fine. Next off, we have a few weird cards. Um, we have Numeron Force. There is a few cases where this is great. We have the, the 92 that can go corrupted into Corrupted 92. And we also have um, Corrupted Utopia. But, you know, like, it's only really there to go from Heart Earth to Corrupted Heart Earth. And then you get this added effect without having to need an XYZ material. It's it's just like a filler spot. Sometimes it works. It's like, just, you could find another card to put in instead of this. I don't know why it's there. It just, it's funny. It's, that's the gimmick card. Part Duality, you know, just draw. Twin Twister on Mystical Space Dive Zone. Get rid of the back line. Uh, rank of Magic Astral Force is great to get Hope Dragon out if you manage to get um, Utopia out, but you do want Hope Dragon. And then we got Wonder Wands, which work on all the spellcasters, so we have six of them in the deck. It does mean that if you do need two draws, you can Wonder Wand on the Jester or the Mystic Piper and guarantee two draws. I mean, if you think that... You only need one draw, or you might get lucky and get... Well, it's not really luck. Over the half the deck is... Uh, you got eight... Nearly nearly half the deck is minions. So if you you you, know, you got like a 45% chance to draw two with this. And depending on how many spells and traps you've drawn already. And if you do draw into a magical trap, the magic's usually going to be draw a card or the traps you need. So 
Like, Mystic Piper is just an amazing card to start with. If you have one of these in your open hand and a King of Boyo, you just draw every fucking round. You just go, 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 go. King of Boyo, as I said, revives a one star, like a low cost minion from your graveyard. You can use Mystic Piper's effect, blah, blah, blah. Also, this works really well with Iron Wall. If you use King of Boyo's effect, you can get monsters on the field and they won't be banished with if Iron Wall's up. But most of the time, if you're going to use King of Boyo's, to get two on the field, you're just going to special summon a number 78 and then overlay into something else. We have the Chaos Dyson Sphere as well, which is another thing to for Numeron Force to go into. Like, there's a few ways to win with this deck. Uh, you have a few board clears. So we've got Lucky Stripe, Rageki. We also have Gimmick Puppet of Strings, uh, Beat Sticks. We have Hope Dragon, Seven Sins, and Prime Photon. We have more board clears with Pain Gainer and Tarantula. And then we have direct damage with the Dyson Spheres. And we also have direct damage with the Heart Earth Dragon. So it has a few different ways to win. Um, sometimes it can be extremely RNG based. But because you draw through most of the deck, uh, as you saw in the previous tool, if you want to draw, this deck can draw. And if, if one of your XCs dies... And doesn't get banished because of Iron Wall. It means you get a free XCs reborn. Because to in the game rules, it was summoned under under normal conditions. Uh, because uh, if it didn't die to the banish effect, so XCs reborn does work on all the cards as you've seen in the in the replay. Jar of Avish is really really good to put number seventy eight back into the deck if you have gone through both of them and then they die. And you need more XCs recharge. And t some doors, I have used both number 78, revived both of them, and then still needed to put two back in my deck. Because you will go through most of these cards in a control game. But I hope you guys have fun playing this deck. Leave a like. If you play it and you do win a few games, you will be sur surprised how well this deck does against a lot of the meta. A lot of the meta decks trying to banish cards so you play imperial iron wall and like side frame uh blue eyes decks there's just so many decks that have like run these banish mechanics and if you play imperial iron wall shutting them down and then you're numbers walling like not many people run a numbers in the deck and all of your monsters are numbers so you, some games you end up just shitting on people and it's fucking hilariously fun. So go out there, play this deck, have fun with it. Tell me how you guys do. Hey guys, just before you go, got a bonus clip for you. Enjoy the fluffle game. Peace out.